What's up, everybody? We are doing the Evil Dead uh, movies, the five movies of the Evil Dead. We're going to tier list rank them. We've seen Combined all, list. We've seen all, yes. So it might not be exactly mine. It might not be exactly his. It's going to be something we're working out between the two of us. I don't know what he's going to rank. He doesn't know what I'm going to rank. Here we go. You ready? Mm -hmm. And we're going to go in chronological order. So the first one, the original Evil Dead. B tier. <laughs> the original Evil Dead. Yes. B tier. B tier. Wow. See, it's not plot heavy, but there's a lot of gore. Okay. <laughs> so my understanding is that with you ranking that B, you're going to have at least one, maybe two movies from this series ranked higher than the original Evil Dead. Yeah. Interesting. So for me, it's S tier. It's my favorite of the whole series. The cinematography, the... Special effects, it's so unique. You can see the creator's mark in that movie. Even though it's low budget, like it's amazing what they were able to do. Yes. Um, so for me, it's S. You say B, so I guess we kind of got to go A at this point. Yeah, A. Okay. Because yeah. you said B and I said S. So we'll put it, and things can change as we talk about these. Evil Dead 2. Eight here. So you're ranking this above Evil Dead, <laughs> but I remember when we were watching, you were all like, wait a minute, is this a remake? Is it a sequel? Yes, I'm confused about that, and I'm still confused about that, but it's just a better movie, better gore, better plot, better acting, it's more fun, it's just better. <laughs> you know what, I can't really argue with that. I think there might be a, more people that prefer Evil Dead 2 over Evil Dead 1. It is better crafted. By people who have more experience, you yeah, know they've done it once. Pace, too. They've done it once before, and it has more slapstick. <laughs> it's the there are a lot of iconic moments, such as the chainsaw hand. For me, I would have put it A tier. They said A, so Evil Dead Two equally with Evil Dead One on A tier. Mm -hmm. All right, now Army of Darkness B tier. B tier. All right, tell me why. Um, it's a very wacky. <laughs> no, um, what? Very wacky. wacky, funny, comical movie, but it's you know it's still it's very cheesy though. Not a lot of horror in it compared to the other ones. You know, it doesn't have that scare factor in it. Just, but it's still a funny. It's it's more like a comedy. The number one word I'd use for it is fun because it is funny and it does have horror elements in that there are you know all the deadites, yeah. but it's not horrific. Yeah, like they're comedic horror. So even though it has horror elements, it's not scary horror. I probably loved it more when I was younger. I don't think it held up as well as the first yeah. two because when it came out, it was just like, whoa, this is so crazy. <laughs> so I think B tier is my pick for it as well. I would put it B tier. And now for 2013's, not remake, but it uses the same name, Evil Dead. And it does have the little cameo by Ash after the like end credits. Mm -hmm. um, so it is part of the same like canon, um, but it's not... I wouldn't say a remake. I don't, you know, I, I don't. Think it is a remake. Is it a, considered a remake? Well, it's called Evil Dead, so it's from 2013. What would you rank that one? D tier. D tier. Okay, why? Um. Well, it is pretty good for a remake. You know, good story, good goofs, um, good acting. Good goose. <laughs> goofs. 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 But um, <laughs> as much for the other ones, I wasn't like you know afraid of the Deadites compared. They were just more funny. I was still afraid of the other Deadites, even though they were funny. The main thing is the ending sucked. Oh, man. It was a good movie until, like, right whenever they, the, the blood started pouring. That's when they should have ended it. But then it was still, like, 20 minutes left. And that was just terrible. That was terrible. Yeah. No, it was... I was really liking it. <laughs> yes. Like, I'm like, oh, man, I'm surprised. Yeah, this is story, very good. good. I really liked the opening, remember, with the girl running. Yeah. But like you said, it was a good movie. It should have ended, like you said, whenever it starts raining blood or whatnot, and the hand reaches up to remake the iconic mm. sort of the, the poster... That would have been perfect because you're like, oh my gosh, they didn't complete what they needed to. We're all screwed. It's going to be Armageddon. We're going to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, maybe they were, are going to make a new one and you see the Deadites are taken over or something crazy, but like it ends on, it would have ended on a powerful, like, oh, the world is over. If you actually cut out like the last 20 minutes of the movie. It would be like A tier for me. Yeah, I think it holds up. As, it would be as good as the other ones, but for everything that Emery said, I too would put it 
as my least favorite because of how they ended the movie. So D tier for me as well. Yep. Last but not least, maybe least, I don't know. But last, Evil Dead Rise just came out this year. We saw it a couple months ago when it came out. C tier. C tier. I wasn't connected much with the characters, but I was that they did make put the Dead Eyes in there and it was like they were cool and like I thought they were like powerful this time, you know, like they were running fast and like remember that? Mm-hmm. And I just I liked the scare of the Deadites, but I just wasn't really connected to the characters. So it's not a bad movie for me, but not really that good of a movie. So in this movie I thought it was really good. And I thought a couple of cool things. One, instead of it taking place in the cabin in the woods, it takes place in an urban environment. And the other cool thing is it starts off in the cabin in the woods and so you're thinking, okay, how do they go from the cabin and this evil gets out from the cabin and it follows yeah. somebody to the city? Nope. Completely reverse. It starts off in the cabin and then it's in the city and you see that it actually got released in the city and it goes to yeah. the cabin. So that was really cool. I actually did love the opening scene too. Like with the, the they started off with the yep. thing going through and the, the shining going through uh, um, the yep. water. It looked like they had a lot of respect for the source material. I thought the main lady that I was cool, like looking through the, yeah, the was... peephole of the door was cool, but it wasn't really scary to me. Um, and there wasn't a lot of humor. Like it was, yeah. it was all just slightly less than the original Evil Dead. Like the humor was slightly less. The, the horrific elements were slightly less. I cared about the characters. They weren't as charismatic, slightly less, but it was really good. So, you know, if it wasn't for the first two, it would have been high up. It's completely different than the third one. But yeah. I agree. I think it's a C. So with that, we end up with the first two Evil Dead as A, Army of Darkness as B, Evil Dead Rises C, and then Evil Dead 2013 as D. Do we not need an S? There's not one that you would pick. To- so you, you think that... I'd put the second one as. you put Evil Dead 2 as S, and I'd put Evil Dead 1 as S. Let me ask you this. Are they that much better than Army of Darkness that they should go S? I think so I give personally for doing like IMDb ratings, Army of Darkness seven point four, and then uh, uh, the first Evil Dead seven point four. They're exactly they're, they're the like same. okay, so, so they're they're that close. But I got let's you. Put Evil Dead one S tier for Father's Day. Did you hear that? Are you serious? Yeah. Man. It is Father's Day when we're recording this. Emery's idea was to put my preference, Evil Dead 1, as an S tier so that there's one thing for every ranking. But you know what? I would not be a father if not for you. So I say, let's just keep it the way it is. We did this together. I'm no father without my son. Love you, my dude. Love you too. All right. So that's it. Until next time. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.